Hey there, this is Chase Jackson, Vice President of Sales and Marketing with Energy Easy, with another brief video in our video series of where we provide personal and professional vitality to our corporate vice president prospects and customers. And the subject of the video today is on the importance of making decisions under pressure and how that can potentially affect our performance. Uh, most of us are not taught how to make decisions under pressure very well. Yet in many professions, including the executive suite, our entire careers really depend on it. And it is important to put an effort to really tone and uh, better this skill of being able to make decisions under pressure as then you will be able to dance while many stumble. And making decisions under pressure is really where you show your value as a leader because your ability to make the right decision, your ability to stay calm, your ability to give your people the right direction in a calm, orderly manner really ensures their faith in you as a leader. A great example of a high level person who succumbed to the pressure was global icon and basketball player LeBron James. In 2011, LeBron James left his hometown team in the NBA, the Cleveland Cavaliers, to join his friends Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh on the Miami Heat in NBA free agency. And him doing this caused a giant uproar in the American sports community, uh, with the main reason being that uh, white America has kind of shown consistently in the past that they do not like young males of color uh, doing a power grab. And that is what LeBron James and Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh did. They took the power away from middle-aged white general managers and put it in their own hands to control their own future and their own destiny. And when they did this, because of the amount of racial hatred that it caused, it really put the pressure on LeBron because he was the best player of the trio. And despite all this racial hatred, uh, the Miami Heat were able to make it to the NBA Finals where they played the Dallas Mavericks and they lost in six games with the main reason being LeBron was not his usual best player on the court assertive self. He let the pressure that surrounded him uh, affect his decision-making processes and his performance. So this is a great example of how pressure can really, really, you can really feel the weight of the pressure when you are in high-level, uh, high-level positions. Whether it's a global icon and NBA basketball player LeBron James or a corporate vice president of a large company. It is critical to look and show confidence when making decisions under pressure. That really is professional presence and the first step in creating optimal decision-making performance. A chameleon is a great example of an animal that's able to adapt in any environment under any circumstance. And when making important decisions as a leader it is, no matter how you feel on the inside, no matter the hesitancy that you have, it is critical that you show confidence, not only in, in your decision, but in your abilities as a leader and who you are in guiding this organization and its strategy and the employees involved. Make sure to look the part. Look good, act good, be good. As a corporate vice president, your day is spent in the pressure cooker, and it is important to be cognizant of how psychological stress can affect our performance and our decision making. Let's say you are going into a meeting where you will be in charge of creating a new strategic course for your company that will dramatically alter its future. It is important to recognize the stress that this might bring and the raised heart rate that we will feel in our body. And we must take appropriate measures 
to relieve the stress and lower the heart rate to make sure that our decision making processes are running as efficiently and as well and as optimal as possible. So how do you do that? You want to practice tactical breathing as the Navy SEALs do. Close your eyes and breathe in and out, in and out. Meditate. Find a quiet place where you can just focus on the decision at hand and when any distracting thought comes up, give it a name and then let it go. Also, give yourself instructional self-talk as if you were instructing yourself as a third party on how to make the decision. Uh, take it from an educating, educator perspective. Uh, this kind of gains a broader perspective on the situation, uh, allowing you to kind of put yourself at a distance from the stress and the pressure cooker that you are in. Put application to practice. Don't let stress and pressure affect your decision-making abilities or your performance. One, prepare. Prepare yourself to go through decisions that will be large under heavy pressure. Mentally, think of how you will be feeling in these decisions, how your body will feel, how your mind will be racing, and how other parties will be surrounding you waiting for the answer. So when you do go through these decisions, you will feel like you have already done them. Two, stay present. Stay present in the moment. Don't worry about what's going on earlier that morning. Don't worry about what's going on upon completion of the decision. Stay present. Three, zone in on the target. Zone in on the decision that has to be made. This is all about focus. The Japanese, the ancient Japanese samurai had a term called mushin which is the ability to stay calm even though we're surrounded by chaos. When making large corporate decisions, there's gonna be all kinds of clutter and chaos surrounding you. And it's important to stay within yourself and stay calm, apply machine to stay focused and zone in on that decision-making target. And four, lastly, trust and let go. Uh, you're a corporate executive, you have skills, and knowledge and experience that got you in this position. So trust your instincts, trust your preparation, trust your emotional awareness, and make the right decision. Trust and let go. Making decisions under pressure.